The future leadership of your community is on the ballot. In just six days, you're going to decide so many local races, including one in Wisconsin's fourth largest city. Our Jason Calvi says it's a city that hasn't had a lot of change at the top until now. Since 1992, only two people have been Kenosha mayor. Next Tuesday, the city will elect the third, one of these two. I'm honored to be a candidate for mayor as the first woman in Kenosha's 200-year history ever to seek this office. That's Lydia Spotswood, who was a nurse and was an alderwoman until 1998 when she ran for Congress and lost to Paul Ryan. She serves on several Kenosha boards, including the City Plan Commission. It's her versus David Bagdala. Kenosha truly is at a juncture, um, but it's at a crossroads. So there are a lot of great things happening in Kenosha. He's been a Kenosha alderman for 16 years and works as a program manager at Abbott. I'm the only candidate in this race that is endorsed by both the Kenosha Professional Police Association as well as the Kenosha Firefighter Association. While the Kenosha County Democrats are urging votes for Spotswood. I want to prioritize the um, growing public safety concerns. But among those concerns is the feeling throughout our city uh, that we have a health care desert that's growing east of Green Bay Road. Both candidates said the city's technology needs major upgrades. Our IT system at City Hall is atrocious. To say it's in the dark ages is probably the biggest understatement. We're going to have this freight train of development coming at us. It's on the way now with absolutely outdated systems, and the city's not prepared. Soon a new mayor will lead this Wisconsin city on Lake Michigan between Chicago and Milwaukee, a city with 100,000 people. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Those two candidates beat out seven others in the primary. In 2020, there was only one name on the ballot, Mayor John Antaramian. Soon he'll leave the office he's held on and off for a total of 24 years.